you know, with that same play actually happened earlier, and I missed a wide open net, so I knew if uh, Raul was going to give it to me again that I had to put it in. And, you know, we had a couple power plays in overtime, and we were bound to put one in, and fortunately we got one in. And so, you know, Dan Myers, College Hockey News, any one of the players, guys, what was said there in between the overtimes? You guys came right out and got it, like, what, 23 seconds in or something like that. What was what was said? Um, I think uh, we, we just wanted to come out and uh, stay on our toes there. We didn't want to change anything just because it was overtime. We just want to kind of stick to our game plan and get the puck deep. And we thought if we got the puck deep, we were able to work their defenseman. And we saw that kind of we got some chances there, and we just couldn't bury it. Jess? For any of you guys, up until that point, it seemed like they had done a uh, Northern had done a headed to overtime because you guys had a two goal lead and Northern really kind of came back after you guys had dominated the first period. Yeah, I mean, uh, going into overtime, we knew uh, uh, it was going to be a back and forth game like it was. Uh, you know, they had a couple posts, we had a couple. Uh, I mean, they have very they have talented players that are um, uh, that can score any time. So you got to be you got to be uh, um, you know, conscious about that. But at the same time, we just knew, um, I think we, we had a little momentum. I think uh, the fans um, were obviously, I think we had a little bit more uh, fans than they did. But uh, and we were getting pucks on the goal. We were, we were getting a four check. Um, we weren't spending much time in our zone, and our D were, D were getting the puck up. So uh, it was kind of a confidence from us. But at the same time, we had, we had to be very weary of uh, the other team.